his sense of humour can sometimes be not as funny as he thinks. Of course I want to stay here, yeah. Definitely want to stay here. I've got a real... I've, I've watched the team come from nothing to something and I've been a part of it the long way, along the whole way, so... Yeah, but you never know. You never know where you're going to end up. In my mind, we just got to sign a piece of paper now. I don't see it as being a big thing. For me, if I chose a driver in the first place, I chose them to stay. If the, when they want to leave, they can leave. But I also have a policy. If in the middle, you know, if, if they're in the middle of contract and they say, Betty, I really, I've got this great chance to do A, B and C and I really want to do it because I think that I'm going to get better. Go. I never hold anyone back. At the end of my last contract at Ford, I never thought I would end up at Erebus at the start of 2015. And I kind of was like a little bit you know, unsure. I'd love it just to keep going as it's going because I honestly think that Dave's still got a, a lot in him. He's frustrated at the moment because his car can't, is not taking him to where he was last year, but you know, somewhere in the very back of his mind, he's going, oh, look at that car, what I could do in that car. They, they all do it. I mean, every Holden driver must be going, oh, look what I could have done in that car. But that doesn't happen like that. You, you know, when you are the top Holden driver and you've been the top Holden driver for a while, then you can whine and whinge as much as you want. But until you're the top Holden driver consistently, you just gotta, you gotta beat the rest of the Holdens first and then worry about the Blues. At this stage, we don't see a need to explore any other driver options, but you've always gotta keep your options open because you know, someone might try and convince Anton to go somewhere else. And if he gets offered something ridiculous, you know, money-wise, well, we're not gonna fight. Uh, you know, we haven't got the biggest checkbook. I did turn around to uh, Ryan's story and said, look, if you're going to pinch um, Anton, if you're in now or in five years you ever want to pinch Anton, come and tell me beforehand. So I got a bit of a heads up, you know. If you ask me personally, I think Anton is a... If you looked at him outside of the team and then looked at him in the team, he's a perfect Penske driver. You know, the hair's quaffed, the, the manners, everything else. You know, unfortunately, he's found a home with, you know, people who are not so quaffed. <laughs> I want us to be a team that's going to be better than Penske one day and hopefully Anton can see that we, we could try and match them one day. It's going to be very hard with their backing and, and the background, I guess, and their resources. But I want Anton to believe in us and hopefully we can be the team that keep a young driver and see him through to winning a championship and not lose him to a team that's going to give him a championship, if you know what I mean. It will be what it'll be. They're either going to sign or they're not going to sign. I'm going to have them as drivers or not. It doesn't worry me. You know, the, as far as I'm concerned, they both will be with me and they'll both, they've both made it... Well, they haven't said they want to leave, but they, they've made it like, oh, yeah, next year we'll do this, this and this. So we've, we talk like nothing's changing. <laughs>